The ace is here, Oikawa. Who does he think he is with his good looks and fashion sense and upbeat attitude? Leadership abilities, valuable skills, casual attitude towards practice. <laughs> Popularity with women. <laughs> Damn, who is this guy? I hate him. Right? I'm with you. Yeah, he looks just awful. Oh, that's just low. King Senpai. Oh, great king. Okay. I thought I had it for a second there. King Senpai is cool too. Ugh. <laughs> Hate him. Episode 7 versus the Great King. Yeah, no pressure or anything. And the girl screaming commences. <laughs> I know what Tanaka's thinking. I know where it hurts. Oh, he's riled up. No motivation like being down bad. And then he comes into the game. He's so confident. In an earlier episode, I think I said it would be refreshing if they lost. It changed my mind. I want to see him bleed. <laughs> I didn't realize they had pinch players in volleyball. Damn, he just jumped like 45 feet in the air. Is he purposely targeting him because he thinks he's weak? He did flub that block earlier. Oh, he was sizing them up the whole time. Oh, I was right. Damn. Shake it off. <laughs> wow, I was blunt. I didn't expect that. Maybe play to his pride? Play to his pride. He's gotta have one weakness. Just one? One weakness as a human being? There we go. Come on, Captain. There you go. There you go. Hit him with a quick one. Or whatever they call it. Quick, quick hit. Fast hit. He has so much spare reserves, he can just talk this whole thing through mid-game. There you go, hustle! This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it! No pressure! <laughs> yeah, how does it feel? There's a crack in that god armor. Oh, right past him too. He kind of flubbed that one, he could have gotten that. That was within arm's reach. He got intimidated a little bit. He silenced the girl squealing too, my man. They just win? Do we just win? Oh, he seems kind of nice though, actually. They're developing him a, a, a lot. Like, I feel like he might end up joining the team somehow. Or be a lot like a final boss of sorts. But they already just beat him. We got something. We got a rare something. I learned something today. <laughs> okay, South Park. Yeah, this is a lucky combination. Damn, he's really taking this globally, universally. This is my kind of talk, speaking my language. This is only the beginning. I mean, literally. It's the beginning of the show. Never apologize! It was perfect. We need more of that in the world. This guy really took a viable game and turned it into the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of small moments. My kind of guy, my kind of talk. It is magical and it'll be more special than they even know or can trace. And it is only the beginning. I mean, think about why they're even here in the first place. You know, all of them have their different inspirations that came from people doing very small, almost microscopic things that compounded and led to something that will forever change their destinies and everyone's destinies that they ever come into contact with. It's a lot of responsibility. They weren't as mean to him as I thought they would be. They were just a little bit kind of wary of him, which is fine. I don't think that's what he's after. He's not apologizing. He's not asking for that. No, yes, that one. <laughs> I thought I was going to say, like, Toilet Master or something, because he spends a lot of time in the toilet, both before and after games. Yeah, there it is. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I mean, I think Kageyama has sort of made enough peace with it in his own heart, given what he went through with his teammates already. 
Yeah, it kind of hurts to realize that, right? Yeah, yeah, because he's the one holding on to it, or he's the one who's been holding on to it. It's a weird feeling to realize that you're the only one left with the, you know, ill will when the other person is clearly reformed. Yeah, they got sort of lucky there with that last round, being the only one with the Great King. I wish to join your squad and steal all of your one woman. It's given a praise. I'm coming around. I can see the appeal. And he's a gracious winner. He also sees the big picture. Defense. Defense. We, and we're aware of that too. I mean, the captain was saying we need to work on that. And the captain being great recognized this is an opportunity to figure out their weaknesses to an even greater extent. Uh, oh, yeah, but clearly razzed. Nah, he's nah. He's too much, too emotionally stable for that. He? We have an ace too. Do you also have a secret weapon? The guardian. These titles is getting better and better. The guardian deity. What was he doing? Genitorial work? He needed that experience, and he needed a, a team that would, like, match his abilities. You can see how dedicated he is. He's, like, still thinking about strategy, even though the game's over. And way ahead to the next match. Yeah, that's how it is though, just piece by piece, smoothing out the wrinkles, breaking down the weaknesses. At least you have an actionable path. I just thought the senpai was gonna coach them this whole time. <laughs> that's even crazier and cooler, that they've been doing all this, have this much discipline with no coach. It's totally self-directed. Too bad he couldn't get in on his volleyball merits. Don't they know how hard he works at volleyball? How do they have time for studying? Class is a time to sleep, to rest, and recharge for volleyball. I don't know why I didn't even think about this, the coach aspect. But the right coach would be like a multiplier in their ability. The victory was not what's valuable here. What's valuable is what he just said about their weaknesses and recognizing that. It really does feel like something magical is happening here. It comes across. And a shooting star. Destroying mops. That's a weird thing to add to this dynamic. Everyone's so chill in their way. Lower your expectations. <laughs> at least at first. I'm sure he'll be great at volleyball, though. Who's next? Is this him? Is this him? His introduction. He looks softer than I imagined, and like smaller. He looks surprisingly calm. Yeah. Same reaction. Interesting. So far, some of these characters have ended up surprising me. Like, the Great King turned out to be pretty chill, pretty cool, despite his immense talent and good looks and popularity. For the Great Deity Defender, I was expecting something a lot more volatile, though maybe that'll be, be what we see next episode. We're still in the building phase of the team, you know, getting introduced to all the, the various characters. We don't even have a coach yet, but already it feels like something special. It feels like something magical, like uh, just a the perfect combination. I don't think it's all just luck, as I've said. You know, I think there's a little bit of luck element, which is just the right people with the right amount of talent being in the same place. But the non-coincidental aspect of it is a few key players who are able to take all that chaotic energy and bring it into something great and focused. So I wonder how this new player will fit into this dynamic. It'll be interesting to see.